Now, in the third period and in overtime, the Canucks only had four shots on net, and that's simply not going to get the job done. I saw Canucks players still engage in the play. I mean, Sam Lafferty, he had a close call there off the post, but the Edmonton Oilers did took over those high danger chances. And guess what? The Bush bomb, he capitalized in overtime. Now, someone I think the Canucks should really consider putting in next game is Noah Juleson. I think he'll bring a lot of physicality. He's a heavy hitter at times, and yeah, he could really help in that area of the game, just being more physical on players like McDavid and Hyman. And also, he's a pretty quick guy, but sometimes we see his pinches. They're sometimes not the most ideal decisions, and that's something that really costs us in today's game. If we look at some of the goals, the McDavid goal, both defensemen there, terrible reads, simple as that. Tyler Myers, you can't be pinching on players like Connor McDavid. It's not going to work. And you just got to play the body, go where he goes, and just play simple. Don't try to do anything crazy when you're playing McDavid because it's probably going to end up in the back of your net. Now, Elias Pettersson, he got the Canucks on the board in today's game. What a breath of fresh air that's for him. I think his confidence might be back as after that goal, he also had another chance when he tried going short side on Stuart Skinner. I just love when he has that shoot first mentality and he's really going to need that in game three if the Canucks want to win. And something I want to share with you Canucks fans is that the Canucks, they have not lost on the road in the playoffs. Remember that. So don't be stressing out right now. It's a 1-1 series. 23 out of 24 of the NHL analysis picked the Edmonton Oilers to win this series. And that's just extremely lopsided in my opinion. I really think this team deserves a higher chance than that. And they'll be ready to play in Game 3. Trust me on that. Something I already see is that the Edmonton Oilers, they're power play merchants. Now the refs, they didn't help us in today's game. Terrible job by the refs. They missed that clear call on Quinn Hughes. And yeah, that would have put the Canucks on a four-minute power play. That was huge, but Zadorov, he got a goal there at the end of the second to give the Canucks a 3-2 lead. You might be wondering, what was Quinn Hughes saying to the official? And from reading his lips, it clearly looks like he was just expressing to the referee how that's four right now, and that's a four-minute penalty. And he was using words such as, that's F and BS. And I completely agree with Quinn Hughes there. Terrible job by the referees. And this could have also changed the game. And they also made Quinn Hughes go to the bench to stop the bleeding, which is just terrible. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications for more Canucks content and game analysis in the playoffs. We're going to have you all undercover. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. Let's go Canucks. Hopefully we get the job done in game three and take care.